You may recognize my next guest. She is a, a fixture on television, especially here in the province of British Columbia. Lindsay Smith is a, a digital living evangelist. She's often seen on Global and Shot TV doing different tech segments. Hi, Lindsay. Hello. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me today. We are going to spend some time today talking about digital lifestyle apps and sites. Absolutely. I think that we're uh, headed in an exciting direction with uh, within the online world and with applications. And I mean, who isn't using apps today? It is. There's an app for that. They always say that. And th <laughs> there is an app for that. I, I, I learned that the average three-year-old can't tie their shoes, but they can use a smartphone. And then I went and looked on the smartphone and there's an app to teach you how to tie your shoes. Ah. Go figure. <laughs> So what, that's brilliant. It is brilliant. So what, what is, what's, what's, what's capturing your attention? What are the sites that are really working for you? I think for, in terms of lifestyle apps, I mean, there, there, there's all sorts of things out there that you, you use on a daily basis and um, finances. Mm -hmm. A big thing we just passed through uh, through April, and a lot of finances were in a lot of people's minds because taxes were due. And I came across a website, actually it was my sister that introduced me to it, called Mint.com. And Mint is actually, uh, it was just bought out by uh, Intuit. And they have budgeting software so that you can track, set up budgets for your for, for different areas of your life, like mm -hmm. your groceries or your rent, your hydro. Uh, my favorite thing is the spa. And it tells you, bing, 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 you've gone overboard this month. Lindsay, no more spa. <laughs> uh, how, how is the data entered into the app so or that, into the site? That's a great question. Uh, the way Mint works is it, uh, it actually syncs with your bank accounts. So I have bank accounts with TD and Royal Bank. I can log in and, and connect the, those bank accounts to mint.com and see all of my transactions from both of those banks within this software. And it creates or a report for you saying you've spent this much on groceries, you spent this much it, on gas. It takes it to a whole new level. It, um, it shows you all of your transactions. It allows you to group your transactions by category. Um, it assigns it to your budgets if you've set that up. Uh, it gives you nice charts so that you can see where you're spending <laughs> the most of your money and allocating it. Does it allow you to memorize different payments so, you, so it'll automatically categorize so if it recognizes if it's called, you know, lady spa or something, it doesn't recognize right away that that's your fitness side. I imagine it is fitness at that point, as opposed to just getting your nails done. <laughs> <laughs> you can categorize it that way to look better. Absolutely, yes. So a uh, great example is... Um a lot of companies or restaurants that it doesn't have the restaurant name within it, so this, the uh, the website isn't automatically picking up that it that it's a mm -hmm. meal that you're having. So you'll assign it to the meal and restaurants category, and then from that point forward, every time it sees that vendor or that restaurant name, it will assign it. So you import your bank account, which will have your all of your all of your ATM information and your bank card and your debit card information. What about credit cards? And your credit cards. Okay. You can assign everything to it. You can even attach it to investment portfolios for some accounts so that you can get a full financial snapshot of your asset value. Wow. Because, you know, a lot of the financial tracking software has been difficult to use, especially when you mm -hmm. start looking at some of the some of the stock applications in the past. Now, I have a personal account with BOM, with Bank of Montreal, and mm -hmm. they just last, I think about six or eight weeks ago, launched a smart money advisor. But it only links to the Bank of Montreal accounts, but it does a lot of the same things. And I was really compelled with how easy it was to use, that once you registered for it and said, yes, you can use my information for this, it came back with a report. And for me, you know, the family stuff, it, it had all my groceries and all those expenditures in the right place. But I didn't see that it had ways to memorize things. So I had to kind of mm -hmm. go through and, and manually keep putting the same thing into the correct category. Nevertheless, incredibly valuable. And not information that I necessarily like to look at. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I hate it. Well, I, I know I spend that much there, but I'd rather not really know that I'm spending <laughs> that much there. So let's just, maybe they should have a, you know, a fog of war type application uh, asset. So, you know, what you spend on alcohol and food shouldn't be <laughs> you can You can choose to gray those out. <laughs> well, you know, it, 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 you know, if we take a step beyond, first of all, hey, this is, sounds like a, a great app and it's one that I'm going to sign up for and try. But if we take a step beyond into the more into the social depths of what's going on with media tracking this information while we can use it as a really valuable tool when you look down the road it can become kind of scary because when we if we you know with grocery cards and that sort of stuff where they if they can get down to the minutiae of tracking what you're buying mm -hmm. and then it, how that information gets used i keep thinking of the scenario of what happens if my insurance company ever finds out how many how much white bread i buy <laughs> You know exactly. what I'm saying? Steve eats All too many sudden, carbs. Studies have shown Steve that, yes. eats too many carbs, <laughs> and so we're going to raise his rate. So anyway, that's not. We're a long ways away from that. <laughs> Okay, mint.com. We will, of course, be posting all of these on our site. What's not up next after Mint? We have uh, a website where this is actually, I absolutely love it. It's, it's a website, but it's also an app for your phone, um, and it's called Lose It. So 
So it's loseit.com, or you can go into the, the Apple Store oh, if you fine. have an iPhone. And this will allow you to track your calories, uh, which is your protein intake, your fat intake, um, and manage your diet plan uh, more responsibly. Mm. I have to say that when I first started using this, I was a bit scared. It takes a bit of time to get into the process of, of tracking everything and counting every single piece of food that goes into your body. But I lost 10 pounds yeah. using this. Yeah, and that... I, I, Good for you, Lindsay. Well, <laughs> I wish people could right see now, everybody's the look applauding. on Steve's face. Right now, everybody's <laughs> applauding. Good for you. Well, I'm looking at loseit.com, and they have a thing called the cookie diet. What the heck is the cookie diet? The cookie diet? Oh, I haven't tried the cookie diet yet. I'm sure it tells you exactly. You it can, says don't eat cookies. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can eat cookies. This is the thing about this app is it teaches you to eat more responsibly and just portion your food. So oh, you, okay. you, you basically plug in how much you weigh, um, the, your goal – how much you want to weigh and you give it a timeline and you need to be responsible and reasonable with this. I think they say that you shouldn't try and lose any more than a pound and a half a week. Mm, um, yeah, I, I try and avoid that. Yeah. You, <laughs> I, it's it's healthy. A pound and a half a week is, is not too bad. It's it's probably as aggressive as you want to be. And if you if you actually stick to it and, and count your calories and, and, and you can actually input exercise as well. So it'll tell you how much you're you burning when you're running and well, then and then who do you call when the calories that you burn and the calories and you when you should not when you're losing weight not as fast as you should that's what i want to know you don't it's so accurate it is I so find accurate it's so accurate it's yeah. all about putting stuff you know what we're gonna we're we're, we're I, we've got a whole bunch of more things to go through and we're already kind of through the amount of time i wanted for the segment so we're going to take a quick break is that okay absolutely lindsay smith for, uh digital living evangelist lindsaysmith.com is her website we're going to take a quick break here on dotto tech